Hi parents, welcome to Kids Corner, Term 2, Week 3. My name's Wayne. I'm Alia and we're here today to help you minister to your children this weekend. And the first step is our scripture. So this is step one. So today we're going to actually crack a code to find today's scripture. So we've already prepared a um, code sheet. So the actual scripture of today is Romans 10, 17. So what you need to do is actually place the alphabet down one side with correlating symbols um, and then sit down with your child and assist them in helping them crack the code. So I'm going to take a moment right now and I'm going to show you how easy this can be. I love codes, Valerie. Do you love codes? My kids love them and I love doing it with them too. All right. So, what does it say? It says, no one can have faith without hearing the message about Christ. So now we're going to find the Word of God. And it says, no one can have faith without hearing the message about Christ. So that's really cool. We've got the scripture, but now we need to find it in the Bible. So, or you can use your phone. So, Siri, no one can have faith without hearing the message about Christ. Let's just wait a second. Well, oh, there it is already. Romans 10, 17 is where it is. So that's what we found on our phone. That's really cool. But let's see now if we can find it in the, in the Bible. Now, Romans is at the back. Now, Romans 10, Romans 10, 17. No one can have faith without hearing the message about Christ. That is the end of step one. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to step two. So today we're actually going to focus on how the Word of God can actually protect us against sin in our lives and in our hearts. And by doing this, we're going to do an object lesson. So we need a bit of water. I'm going to put a bit of water in this bowl. And then we're going to put some dirty, nasty sin and weakness. Right. And then I'm going to put my finger in and see what happens. Oh, it sticks to it. The sin sticks to my finger. That's because I don't have the Word of God in my heart. So let's try that again. Reading my Bible, the Word of God is right here. See what happens. Wow, that's Whoa! incredible. There's nothing there because I'm protected in my heart and in my life because of the Word of God. That just went away yeah. from everything. That's crazy. crazy. That's the end of step two. Welcome to step three. So now we're actually gonna do a bit of an experiment. And this experiment is to highlight how the Word of God can actually grow seeds of fruit in our hearts and in our children's hearts. So by doing this, we're gonna need some Ziploc bags, some cotton wool, and some seeds. So you can use any seeds, parents, whatever you'd like to grow. Encourage your children to really get involved in this process because it's a great experiment. So we'll pop some cotton wool buds into our bags and couple of seeds. So to demonstrate how the Word of God actually produces fruit into our lives, we're actually going to add water only into one bag. And you can label it with the Word of God on one and keep the other one blank. So I'm going to add the water and then you just zip it shut and then you just get a bit of tape and stick it to a windowsill that gets some great filtered light through it from the sun. And then with having one with water and one without, it will clearly demonstrate to the children because this one will see and this one won't. So with the word of God, we will actually have fruit grow in our hearts. Ali, do you know that your life can be absolutely wonderful? You can be doing everything for mum and dad, everything at school, every, everything perfectly. But if you don't have the word of God in your life, you're not going to grow. That's, That's right. why it's really, really important to read your Bible. Whether or not it be a, a Bible like this or a, a Bible on a device, it's really, really important to sow that word into your life. Absolutely. That is the end of step three. Thank you, parents, for tuning in. We hope you had a wonderful time. We hope this can be ministered to your family. And we'll see you next week.